So now for this upper control arm, we're gonna take off this cotter pin, this main bolt, and then there's two in the bay that are right here. Let's get to working on this one. Seventeen, so we should be able to break this one apart. This bushing here is like gone by now. So I'm glad that I'm gonna be taking this off with the new camber kit. I was dreading changing that, but I'm super happy to take that off. Um, usually you just I don't care about any of this except for this arm right here. But I believe I have the right tool for this job. So a while back, I had gotten this tool. Uh, you can rent these at AutoZone. Um, and <clears throat> they rent them out to you. And if you don't give the money back, then you get to keep it. That's exactly what I did. I didn't I didn't want it to give it back and I actually thought it was a good tool so I kept it. This is how this works. You gotta stick it in the ball joint. I'll loosen this up a little bit. So you stick it in the ball joint. And then all you have to do is tighten this till it pops it off. So by you tightening this, it pushes that stud off and it uh, breaks it loose. So I don't have the right size for this. So I'm just gonna do it with my eventually it should pop off and you'll see it slowly doing that. Like I said, once it pops it off, it just takes it off and then there's a gap right there. And now it's free. I love this tool. You it works on ball joints down here. The one down here does the same thing. Um, works on all the ball joints. So I highly recommend that tool right there. Alrighty, well, let's keep going with this installment. Uh, now that it's taken it off, go ahead and unthread this. Next, I need that. Well, actually, not really. 
now that this is off, now that that's off, we have to go in the engine bay and take off the other two bolts. So let's go do that. So once you get to your engine bay, which by the way, this is how my engine bay looks. My valve cover was painted. Uh, I tried to do that wrinkle. Um, and I took my car to uh, a car meet. So I wanted to clean up the inside of the engine bay, but apparently my pressure washer decided to be too strong for my paint. So it started peeling it all off. I'm gonna eventually do it all over again, but that's something else. Um, after you do that, you will have to unbolt that one. Let's see if it focuses right there. And then there's another one right in the back. I believe it's that one you can see right there. Um, we just gotta unbolt those two and then it should come right off. So let's go ahead and try to do that. It's a 14. So we're going to try pull it off. It's like barely any uh, space to work here. tip of the day if you're small and you don't have enough strength grab one of these two balls and that should give you enough leverage to loosen up whatever you need One of the bolts. Now you gotta get the other one on the other side. Finally, got to the end of this one, took that one out, and now I should be able to uh, just pull this right out, and there it is, and all but the, out with the old and with the new, here we go.
Now we just gotta put the other one back on there. So, left, left. Going back in there. So you gotta put them in here. And then, after that you gotta go back to where we were. And put those bolts right through there and on the other side just like we did let's go do that so here goes the first bolt going in it's gonna be a little harder to film but i'm gonna put this bolt through there until it screws on i just finished tightening that one up i am ratcheting this one back in the fact that there's a little bit of space it's very difficult but once you get a groove you should be fine <sighs> there you go now we can just do the bottom just gotta put that one back on and then should be able to put the wheel back on So I had to hit this and I had to put a jack underneath so I can go in there. It's all in now. Goes the cotter pin. But actually, before we put the cotter pin in, we have to tighten this up. Then we can put our cotter pit in. Fold it like that. And we'll leave that one up like that. And basically, that is all to change these upper control arms all the other bolts are uh, bolted up those two right there that one right there so that's how she's gonna look all right guys I'm gonna leave you guys here Woo! that was a struggle um, but uh, hopefully you guys like the videos um, We have some more plans for the CRV uh, make sure you subscribe comment and Hit the bell so you can get notifications when I upload another video um, So far the progress has been really great um, it's tough, but That's why we love this this lifestyle <laughs> But anyways, I'll leave you guys through it. Peace